Hello and welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to learn how we can use the new Microsoft SharePoint Stream Web Part. But before we move to the video, here is a short intro. Okay, so let me go and click on the site contents and uh, then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create one new page inside the site pages library and uh, in the site pages library i'm going to click on this new and then create a new site page i'm going to provide a name to this site page as a stream stream new stream web part okay so this is the name which I want to go to my my this page and next thing what we want to do is we want to add a web part to this newly created page so I'm going to create an uh, add a stream web part so now it's only has this new stream web part but if I don't have that classic one in this channel so I'm not able to show that but uh, yeah this is the new stream web part as I as I added on to the page as you can see it it is loading all my recent created videos so i have the different options in here i can change the layout from theater to grid as you can see this is the grid view of my recently created video the next thing i can do is i can just go and create on edit web part and i can show you the different type of content sources available i can select videos from the site i can select the folder or even i can select a single site so whatever video are available in that site are going to be available in here. So I can select a OneDrive as my source for the stream web part. If I want, I can select a site folder or even if I want, I can I can select a separate site, a different site and it's available videos to be shown inside this stream web part. Right now I'm going to select one of the web part right that is a single video web part so it is only going to show a single video and if i want to change the video i can click on this change change button and then i can select the another one okay this is how we can select a single video to be displayed inside the stream web part so uh, the next thing what we want to do is we can select a folder and let's say i want to select this videos folder it has around five to six videos in that so there are total six videos available for this particular uh, in this particular folder if i want to hide the title of a web part i can click on this so web part title bar toggle button to off and it is not displayed i can change the the layout of the web part let's say i want it to be theoretical theater web part publish and as you can see my web part is being displayed i can click on this web part whatever video is being played it displayed as now playing onto that okay so this is how the theoretical theater view is available inside the new stream web part it is having the pagination and it is having that functionalities so the next thing what i can do is i can click on this edit web part button again and i want to convert that to grid grid layout right so this is how the grid layout will be will be available there is how many videos i can i want to show the maximum numbers are 30 i can have up to 30 uh, videos available to be shown and uh, how many rows i can have up to 10 rows yeah but the minimum value is two so at least i have to have two uh, minimum rows and at least one video to be shown inside stream the part the other thing is if i want to uh, recently i want to sort my videos based on the different criteria the different criteria are recently created created by author and all that stuff so we can do that we can change if you want to show a videos from this site as i as i said the number of rows to be available to we can change it to 10 and the number of videos to be available let's say i want to have the maximum one that is 30 but as i said like i have only around six to seven videos in this in this particular site that's why it's showing all of them if i have more than that it will show them and uh, this is how i can select the different uh different sites let's say i want to show some videos from my OneDrive. i want to show some videos uh from the other side 
from where and yeah one more thing in here so if i want to select another site that particular video or the particular site has to have the proper permissions like i have to have the proper permissions into that site to see those videos if i don't select anything this is the default message which is available if i have selected a folder folder as a as a my uh, data source or the source for my videos okay let's say i go with the videos on this side these are the different options which i have already shown you and now if i republish the page this is how my page will look like on to the my home page or the page okay so this is a very quick intro to the new stream web part and if you like the video then you can share like or comment on this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you